We will learn how to read the Bernier caliper. Uh, first, I want to make a video regarding the US, uh, I'm sorry, the international system units. And then I'm going to make a video regarding the inches, US customary base units. Uh, the first step is to recognize the parts of a Bernier caliper. So, as you can see right here, we have what could be a normal pernier caliper uh, we have the upper jaws of course they are used for interior dimensions or measures we have the lower jaws of course used for outside dimensions uh, we have the thumb screw right here you use it for you to keep the dimension with your finger and there is usually as you can see not all of them has have it a lock screw it is like a, an, a screw in which you can use for you to uh, keep the dimension without using your fingers you just have to screw it and the dimension is going to remain the same <clears throat> We have the depth road, of course used for when you want to measure steps. And the two remaining parts are the basic ones for you to determine the dimension, the reading of the Bernier caliper. In this case we have the main scale and the Bernier scale. Now, when you have, uh, when you are reading the scale in millimeters, you have to take into consideration the scale of the Bernier scale. <clears throat> Why is that? Because, for example, we have 1 over 10 scale, 1 over 20, I'm sorry, one. yes, 1 over 20, and 1 over 50. Of course, uh, if the scale is lower the precision or the accuracy is going to increase as well if you want to determine or if you hand if you have tolerances regarding uh, one divided by 1000 millimeters then you cannot use a vernier caliper right you have to use another type of uh, measurement tool but in this case you have to determine if that vernier caliper precision is enough because it is going to have um, an error percentage, right? Only by itself, it is going to have it. But we are not here to discuss that, but it is important for, for me to mention. Now, for when you want to read a vernier caliper, we're going to do it first using the first scale, 1 over 10 the one that I mentioned before, and you will see that scale right here. So, for example, you will see 0 0.1, 0 0.05, and 0 0.02. That means 1 over 10, 1 over 20, and 1 over 50. Now, we will take into consideration three ex examples for each. Regarding the 1 over 10 dimension as you can see we have the main scale and we have the Bernier scale right here basically all we have to do is to take into consideration where is the zero if it's uh, lined up with another um, line regarding the main scale so we need to consider first the zero of the Bernier scale where is it so, as you can see, it is between 9 and 1, All right? So, we can start solving this, and I'm going to do it in red. This solution is going to be 9 point something. What? We will check it. Now, as you can see, the, the, the line tree of the Bernier scale is lining up with another one. Which one? I don't really care. I only care that it's the third, or is the three, 
um, which is the one that is lined up with the other. Reading from left to right, right? As you can see, this is not, this is not, and this is the one. That means that the final dimension is going to be 9.3 millimeters. <clears throat> it's as simple as that. Now, we will do another, another exercise. As you can see, in this exercise, the, um, the line that is lining up regarding the Bernier scale is the zero. That means that we are not going to have any decimal numbers after the first dimension that we get, for example. This zero is lining up with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven line. That means that the final dimension is going to be equal to 7.0 millimeters. Right? It is as simple as that. Once again, first step, where is the zero? As you can see, it is after the one on the fourth line, between the fourth and the fifth. Right? That means that the final answer is going to be 14 point something. 14.1. Once again, you just have to read from left to right, uh, take into consideration which line lines up with which one regarding the Bernier scale. So, as you can imagine, it is going to be on red, so it is this one. That means that the final dimension is equal to 14.2 millimeters. Now, we will level up regarding the other scale that we manage that means 1 over 20 that means that we will divide this the Bernier scale in two right as you can see right here now we can only have the one and zero but there is another one right here all right so first step as always where is the zero the zero is between three centimeters and four. Talking about millimeters, it is between 32 millimeters and 33 millimeters. So as you can see, the answer is 32 point something. What? We don't know that yet. Well, we know that it's 85, but we are going to double check it. Now, uh, second step which one of the lines regarding the Bernier scale is lining up with another. So, as you can see, this is not, this is not, this is not, this is not, so on, so on. Please bear with me. No, 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 not even this one, as you can see right here. But this is the one. So, since the scale is using 1 over 20, that means 0 0.05, and the line that is lining up is this one, the one between 8 and 9. That means that the decimal numbers that are going to be after the point are 85. Alright, that is the reason why the answer is 32.85. Another example, this one. First step, where is this zero? As you can see, it is between 52 millimeters and 53 that means that the first number that we require is 52 52 point what once again no 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 this is the one all right as you can see this is the line that is lining up with the main scale uh therefore the answer is going to be 50, I'm sorry, 65, okay, because the line that is lining up is the one that is between 6 and 7, regarding the Bernier scale, so 52.65, another example, one final one, regarding the 1 over 20 scale, once again, where is the 0, between 94 and 95, millimeters so uh, I'm sorry between 
95, 90, between 96 and 97 millimeters. That means that the first answer that we require is 96. 96 points, point what? Okay, once again. No, 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 no. This is the one. As you can see, once again, is the line that is between 4 and 5. So the final answer is 45. It is as simple as that. Now, <clears throat> there is another scale that is going to be more accurate and it is going to decrease the percentage of error. Now, regarding that scale, we will have um, an scale of 0 0.02 millimeters. So I have to I had to place two two images for for us to see the entire dimension. So regarding this scale, as you can see, it is going to be the for the same steps, right? Now, as you can see, the zero is between thirty and thirty one millimeters. That means that the first answer that we need is thirty. I'm sorry. 30 millimeters, 30 point something. I don't know that yet, right? Now, regarding this other image, image, it is like a zoom in of this, of this part of the part that is, uh, that in which, in which we can find the line of the Bernier scale that lines up with the main scale, and it is going to be. No, 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 no. It is going to be this one. All right. So as you can see, this is the line. That means that eight is the next number that we need. So that means 30.8 something. And that something is 82, 84, 86, 88. All right? Remember, the scale is 0 0.02. That means that every single line is going to be equal. Every single gap is going to be equal to 0 0.02 millimeters. That means that the final answer is 30, as you can see right here, 0.88 millimeters. Second example. <clears throat> um, first step, where is the zero? The zero is between 55, 56, 57, 58. It is between 58 and 59. That means that the first answer is 58. Point what? Let's see the zoom. All right. Reading from left to right. I can find the dimension right here, right? As you can see, it is the 6. So the final answer is 50, I'm sorry, 58.60 because the line that lines up is the 6, all right? So 60. Now, another example. Once again, where is the zero? The zero is between 14 and 15 millimeters. Where is the other line that lines up? As you can see, it is this one. So 14 point, it is between six and seven, so 60 something, 60 to 64. Once again, every single gap is going to be equal to 0 0.02 millimeters. That means that if uh, right here I have 62, right here I have 64. Final answer, 14.64 millimeters. Uh, all right, this is pretty much it, guys. As you can see, we have the answer right here. Um, what's left is to practice, so... I'm going to show you the pages in which I I took the images from. 
uh, right here as you can see uh, we have the page it is on it is in Spanish but I think that it is a pretty good a pretty good web page for us to practice this is the simulator for the first scale 1 over 10 uh, right here we have the second simulator which is 0 0.05 1 over 20 uh, if you want to practice you just have to click right here on the eye but recording this simulator it is not working but it doesn't matter you just have to to forget that you have the results right here if you want to practice of course you can zoom in to see where is the the line that lines up with the other and regarding the one over uh, 50 scale it's this one right for this simulator it does work when you want to hide the result and when you want to zoom in or zoom out uh, well guys that is pretty much it this is how you can read the Bernier caliper in millimeters in the using the international system units